Just over 11,000 years ago, large changes in Earth's climate were underway. These were part of the same natural processes that had been going on for millions of years. Geoscientists have only recently recognized that these changes occur regularly, that climate has a rhythm. One of the most important findings that climate scientists have come up with in the last several decades is that Earth's climate changes in cycles. And these cycles are driven by changes in Earth's orbit around the sun, not in changes in the strength of the sun, but changes in the orbit. The shape of Earth's orbit varies every 100,000 years, from being nearly circular to being elliptical. Earth's rotational axis tilt varies every 41,000 years. Then, the direction that Earth's axis points toward the sun continues to change. It takes 21,000 years for it to point in the same direction again. When you add the effects of these together, Earth's climate changes at the same intensity the seasons change. One thing that these changes in solar radiation drive is cycles of the ice ages, and the other is the cycles of the monsoons. Monsoons are the heavy, rainy seasons experienced throughout the world's tropical areas. In fact, over 50% of Earth's population live in areas affected by monsoons. Monsoons are influenced by the 21,000-year climate cycle, with rainfall increasing for 11,000 years, then decreasing again. This change can cause profound effects on the land, moving from temperate to desert and back again over the course of the cycle. But what if you want to know about the climate in a place where there was no ice 10,000 years ago? Like Earth's ice sheets, the thousands of freshwater lakes that dot the planet offer clues to the constant cycles of climate change. Every day, particles of dust and mud blown by wind or washed by rains collect in lakes. As these particles settle, they are trapped in the bottom as sediment layers. Throw it up there, Eric. In Duluth, Minnesota, there's an institute dedicated to studying large lakes all over the world. Here, Tom Johnson and Eric Brown are looking at sediment cores they've recently drilled from one of the oldest lakes on Earth, Lake Malawi in southeastern Africa. It dates back four to five million years. Embedded in this relatively uniform looking mud is an incredible history of climate variability. This core probably represents about 2,000 years, and we will nail that down precisely with uh, both a combination of, of um, radiocarbon dating of the sediments and also by looking at the details of these laminations. Much like the initial procedure with an ice core, the first step with the sediment core is to scan it. Tom and Eric use one of only two X-ray scanners in North America to examine the sediment core. Oh, yeah. This provides data about these cores that can be accessed by other scientists worldwide, minimizing the handling of these very fragile objects. So what's first, Eric? Because lake sediment provides a continuous record, scientists have discovered that every centimeter of this core represents a year of Earth's history. It will take the scanner several passes in the course of an hour to record its full length in a very highly detailed image. So that you know, measures the surface and that information. Sediment cores provide not only climatological data, but also information about the plant and animal life both in and around the lake, all in resolutions or time frames down to a couple of months. Nearly 80 different elements are discovered in this sediment core. That's iron, this is calcium, titanium, that's manganese. In these African lakes, little changes in climate result in big changes in sediment composition. 
So as we look at this record coming out of Lake Malawi, we see these annual fluctuations in the amount of iron that's being, uh, that's accumulating in the sediments, the amount of silicon accumulating in the sediments. We see this annual uh, ringing of, of sediment composition. So you can see, you know, how beautifully resolved the annual yeah. laminations are. Look at the laminations on the X-radiograph, how right. beautifully they stand out. This extraordinary scanner allows Tom and Derek to examine laminations or layers of sediment in the core a little thicker than a piece of paper. Previously, sediment cores could be dated in terms of decades. Now we can see things that represent months, which allows scientists to learn about seasonal conditions, among other things. A much more detailed picture of the entire region is now coming into focus. The sub-Saharan region was unusually wet from 11,000 years ago to 5,000 years ago. And the record from Lake Malawi uh, bears that out. And we see in the human record that the climate evidence seen in Tom's sediment core is accurate. 11,000 years ago, man created these pictographs. Elephants, hippos, crocodiles. Life that thrived from a time when rainfall here was abundant.